Brown looks on the south side. I'm Lenata. Eric Jeep. It's the answer to the age old question. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? No, not that. <laughs> oh, the, um, uh, how do people not know that Clark Kent is Superman? It's his glasses, people. It's his that's it. No, so not that either. Why do we cry when we shower? No, it's, um, is there life on other planets? Oh, it's, uh, okay, that's a way better question than mine. I think it's the hot water or how, you know, you feel like you're being flooded while standing. It's like an all-consuming yeah. sensation. All right. Well, it turns out that our big old galaxy contains at least two billion, with a B, planets that have liquid water on their surface and orbit around their parent stars in the habitable zone. Whoa, does this mean there's two billion us's out there? No. Two billion Earths? No. Uh, maybe. We don't know, Joe. That's the whole problem. A new study from the nation's Academy of Sciences says that Earth-like planets capable of supporting life are far more common than previously thought. Nice! Using the Kepler Space Observatory, scientists studied more than 150,000 stars and identified over 3,000 candidate planets so far. Now, there are multiple factors as to what makes a planet habitable like Earth. And by all means, we are a very, very privileged planet. You know, rocky planet circling the sun at a perfect distance, yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. amazing science. But with these new findings, it definitely makes everyone want to plan future missions that study the atmosphere of these potential habitable planets. Only problem is they'd be like super far away. I don't think we'd make it. No, <laughs> They'd send a probe, you know, like... Well, like John probe? No, uh, the Kepler one, to be exact, which has now been given a new lease on life. And if all goes well, it'll let us know just how habitable these planets really are. So, you know, we can never go to them because we won't be able to make it unless we're able to cryogenically freeze. <laughs> Plot hole will never be able to. And Clark Kent is clearly Superman. All of my dreams are crushed. Okay. So guys, if you could go on a mission to a different Earth, but you had to be cryogenically frozen, would you? Let us know in the comment section down below. After you're done with that task, please click the annotation and check out our other stuff. You could also like this video and subscribe to our channel. This is SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Bye? Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a bye. It's a bye situation. Goodbye. Yeah. It's bye. But, yeah, bye. It's bye. Yeah. Bye. What else would it be? <laughs> Hello? Get out of here. We just said your story. Yeah, no, we did no, already. No, bye. No, 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 no. Bye. bye. bye.